Hello, I'm Jamie Tracy, and welcome to yet another episode of Anti-Chef, a show about me. Clueless in the kitchen, minimal interest in cooking, and I'm forcing myself to learn gourmet recipes. Today, we're making chicken, raisin, and almond bastilla. Let's go to the store. What is a bestia? The traditional bestia is an enormous pigeon or chicken pie wrapped in golden paper thin pastry leaves. Spices play a big part in the Moroccan cooking. Pronounced pastilla? Pronounced bastilla. And I don't think I'm saying it right. Bastilla. 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 So what's on the menu today? The Moroccan dish. Bastilla. Food and drink. Holiday 2017. You may recognize this book. This is the book they give away for free at the liquor store. Chicken, raisin, and almond bastilla. This is an extravagant dish to come home to, but in reality, it is very easy to make. Easy to make. That's a lot of steps. 12 steps. 12 steps to make this thing. Heat oven to 350. Step one is done. In a small saucepan, bring stock to a light boil. Add saffron. Saffron threads, intense aroma, bittersweet taste. A vial of saffron. Step two, done. In a large pot over medium high heat, melt the butter and chicken breasts. In a large pot. Extra large, large, medium, small. Is that how it works? Go with the large. Quarter cup of butter. One white onion, finely diced. I almost cut my thumb off. Right through my nail. I'm sure there is some sort of lesson here. Probably don't finely dice onions with polarized sunglasses. Lesson learned. Add chicken breast and cook until golden. Add ginger. Oh shit. There's no ginger. I was gonna get it. And then I forgot. No ginger. Cook for 10 minutes or until onions are translucent. Add cinnamon, cumin, nutmeg, red pepper. Step five, return the chicken to the pot along with saffron infused stock. Cover and simmer until chicken is cooled through. <laughs> cooked through. Chicken is cooked through. Shred meat and discard skin and bones. Shred meat. Eat meat. Shredding chicken with a fork. This is the most common technique for shredding chicken. You simply hold one fork still in the center of your chicken and use a second fork to pull the shred. Quarter cup of sultana raisins. One third cup of slivered almonds. Two eggs, lightly cooked meat. Half a cup of cilantro, lightly chopped. Stir in. Duh. Refrigerate until ready to use. I'd like to note that the very first step, heat oven to 350. Why is that the first step? If step one is turning on the oven and step 11 is just utilizing the oven in which is on, don't you think you could move heat oven to 350 on step one down to step 10? We're past beginner level stuff now. Lay one sheet of phyllo pastry on a clean work surface brushed completely with melted butter. 
Lay second sheet across the first to form an addition sign. Lay third sheet diagonally. Diagonally again. Last two sheets, repeat step one. What are they called again? Phyllo pastry. Pa Phyllo pastry. pastry. Phyllo pastry sheets. Using the melted butter, brush the inside of a nine inch spring form pan. Gently place the phyllo pastry over the center of the pan. Whew. Gently place the chicken on top. Look who's back. Fold the phyllo edges over the chicken. Bake for 45 minutes. Step 11. CN45. Welcome back. It has been 45 minutes. It's time to take the Bastila out of the oven. Oh. Okay. Yeah, shut up. Bastila. Ooh. It tastes Moroccan or something? Yeah, it's Moroccan. It has like a kind of spicy, but like sweet flavor. I've never tasted something like this before. Ever? No. It's delicious. You like it that much? Mm-hmm. Sweet. It's one of the best things you've made. Really? Mm-hmm. How long did it take you? All day. <laughs> All right, free magazine I found in a liquor store. You make a really solid pastilla. One of the best things I've made so far. That's it for me. See you next week. I. The anti-chef is hurt. Took five episodes.